Alrighty, hello out there. Uh, what, what is, what blasphemy is this? <laughs> I know I kind of, kind of became the old Steam Controller guy, but if you will remember, or if you were around, I used to do expatter videos, and I did all of those with, uh, with the old DS4. And when I did that, I would use DS4 Windows and uh, expatter. So yeah, I kind of kind of started out as the expatter guy and then transitioned in, into the Steam Controller guy. Um, but the newest Steam beta added in DS4 native support. So we're going to get all the uh, customization of uh, the Steam Controller. In theory, I mean, clearly we don't have quite as much. We don't, don't have the paddles and whatnot. So okay, I wanted to check this out. Oh, also, I apologize for the wire. That is actually one of the reasons why I prefer the Steam Controller. The battery in my DS4 controller sucks ass. I get like two hours per charge. So it's dead. I had to plug it in. So, all right, I'm going to go... You can't see it's right behind the uh, webcam window, but I'm going to settings. And I want to do an add. So, all right. I'm going to enable it. If it was connected wirelessly, I would disconnect. So, okay. Well, you're saying, all right, let's go it. We'll do it. Okay. Oh, 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 hey, all right. Register the controller, we'll ensure, all right. Eggs DS4. Steam button brightness, is that? really going to affect oh it does that's cool okay so you yeah you can change the change the light on it let's do a little bit I wonder if you'd be able to change the color maybe that'll come later on because that was something in DS4 windows you could uh you could tweak the color like I had it blue but you can make it pink or yellow so all right Eggs DS4 using configs from Existential Egg. Okay, we are making progress. Something basic. Uh, let's get yeah, Black Mesa. Okay, so this is what I wanted to see. So what do we got here? The gyro is the mouse. Switch to unified pad. Switch to... Sw oh, okay. Huh. So you could change. This is interesting. Let's try a scroll wheel. Scroll down, scroll up, circular. Yeah, let's try that. So now this little part should be a scroll wheel and this, this side should be a mouse? Huh. That will be kind of interesting. Okay. We're in Black Mesa. Sorry, right. basic controls. I need... Alright, so I'm going to need gyro always on. So let's... Uh... Get Let's try that. Okay. All right, well right off comparison, just I'm familiar with this layout cuz I was making this for Black Mesa, so Gyro is not as good. It's Pretty good, though. It feels better than what I remember on any pl PlayStation 3 game I've ever played. I don't have a PlayStation 4, so I can't compare to that. But yeah, it feels pretty good. That's really... That was the main thing that I was curious about, was how does that... How's that gyro work? Let's go to D... Oh. I'm going to see if I can get it to go to each letter. 
Yeah, it's uh, it's has a a good deal of finesse. I feel like it's a little tighter in the uh, Steam controller, but that's it feels better than it did on PlayStation Three. That's for damn sure. Okay, I mean I don't know how usable that really is. Uh, that feels like a pretty far reach for me, at least. I don't know. Like, I have to hook my thumbs way over. But yeah, it feels, um, pretty nice. No, no, no! Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, initial... I, I am imp I'm impressed. I'm trying to not be totally biased, but having used the Steam Controller for a year, the Steam Controller feels better to me. Steam Controller has more customization. Steam Controller has more input options. I got really used to having D-pad and then a click, which I use all the time on Steam Controller. I have haptics and then a click in. And then I could double click that, and same on the right one. I guess I could put that a double click here, but yeah. This opens up some. You could put, uh, that'd probably be good for like touch menus. I could see that working well. So yeah, I mean, if you have a DS4 controller, hell yeah. I mean, holy shit, use it. <laughs> stop, stop using your 360 controller. Get your DS4 out. You're going to have so much more customization. Because you're going to be able to, I mean, you know, you can get mouse, eh, mouse-like accuracy. It, the gyro six-axis is pretty, it's better than what I remember on PlayStation 3. It's not quite up to par with what I feel like the gyro is on, uh, on the Steam controller. I, I'm sorry, I got distracted, because what I'm curious is, can I feel haptics on that? No. Okay. <laughs> if they could do that, that would be pretty cool. If they could have it uh, access the rumble, that would be good for steering wheels. If you wanted to compare this to the Steam controller, it's, it's pretty good. I'm still feeling like Steam Controller is going to come out on top. You have the dual stage triggers, you have the back grips, you, you know, you have more options with the Steam Controller. Plus, this will come out, you know, a lot of people are going to think I'm insane, probably get dislikes for even saying this, but now that I'm used to the Steam Controller, this feels really weird. This feels like small and uh sharp, clunky, I, I don't, yeah, like, the edges feel weird. I really got used to the feel of the Steam Controller. But I would definitely, like, if I was an expatter user, I would migrate myself into this stuff, because this is going to give you a, more, you're going to get those, uh, the touch menus, and you're going to get more out of it than you would from expatter or you know, absolutely from the native controller support. Like, you'll be able to tweak it however you want. So yeah, that's pretty impressive. It's opening up a whole lot of options. So just, if you're not familiar with how all of this works, you don't really care about the Steam controller at all, you're just curious about the DS4 stuff, you're going to be able to go in here and change so many, like this I have, jump is on a, a tap, and then a long press is for the uh, crouch jump. It's left control and space. Yeah, you can add in taps and holds and do whatever the hell you want. So like I tap it, it's a jump. Oh, it's kind of hard to see it. Yeah, when I hold it, he's doing the crouch jump. So yeah, it's going to open up a whole lot of options for you. So alright, I mean, I'm just kind of rambling, going around in circles. I wanted to check this out though. Give it a, a look-see. So yeah, I mean, that's that's it. This is in the uh, 
Steam beta, the most recent beta, you'll have to participate in the beta, download some data, restart Steam, and then you're good to go. You just turn the controller on and go through the pairing process. So then, uh, yeah, once you do this, um, just out of curiosity's sake, I don't want to change. Wait, show other controller types? Oh, okay. So yeah, you could... Once you do that, you'll be able to download... Uh, touch menu. Alright, yeah, let's try that. We'll attempt to convert it. Okay. So let's see... Did it not put in the touch menu? So let's just make right pad click. Uh, joystick click. Let's try that. So it's mouse. Oh, well, it, yeah, I'd have to tweak it, but look at, yeah, I hold in the click. I wonder if it works on this one, too. No. Okay. So it's going to be left stick click. And then that gives me... But that would work well with the gyro. You just boop, 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 you know, lean to what you want. That is pretty damn cool, too. You'll be able to access all the Steam controller configurations for the DS4. You might just have to tweak it around a little bit. That's pretty effing cool. So, yeah, that's, um... That's it. I'm done. I gotta stop rambling. Too much rambling. Pretty snazzy. I will see you around. Boy, I ramble a lot. Oh! They can make it perfect through software. Is really, I mean, that's what I'm going to say. Rebel bike destroyed! <laughs> the butt crawl! Do, 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 do. Yes, I feel it. The energy vibrating. <laughs>